Cerberus, was the multi-headed dog who guarded the gates of the underworld. He was one of the offspring of Typhon and Echidna, the father and mother of all monsters respectively. Typhon had multiple heads. Anywhere between 50 and 100 sprang from his neck, and even more from his hands. Echidna, Cerberus's mother, had the torso and head of a beautiful woman, and a trunk consisting of a tremendous serpent. He was also a faithful servant to Hades, who was the god of the underworld. Cerberus often roamed along the banks of the Styx River. This river was the established boundary between the dead of the underworld and the living of the earth. Cerberus was responsible for guarding the gates to the underworld. The three-headed dog prevented those were dead from escaping, as well as kept the living from going there without the permission of Hades. Cerberus was very kind and friendly to the dead, as well as any new spirits who entered the underworld. He would also become savage and would eat any of them who tried to get past him and go back to the land of the living. The most difficult task among the twelve works of Hercules, which was made for him by Orestes, was to bring Cerberus out of the underworld. Hades allowed this, but only on the condition that Heracles manages to do it without using any weapon. Even though he was bitten by Cerberus' serpent tail, Heracles managed to put the dog on a shelf and took it out of the underworld. After this, Heracles fettered him with adamant chains and dragged the hound to Urus Fuse, who was so horrified by the sight that he instantly hid in his great jaw. After a period of time, Cerberus was taken back to the underworld by Heracles.